Hey everybody, stay tuned in this video when I'm talking about a new feature within Azure Policy and demoing how you can set it up and what the end result looks like. So let's get started. Hey everybody, my name is Sarah Lean and I'm a Senior Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. Today I'm talking to you about a new fe feature within Azure Policy. Now the team have launched this feature where you can customise the non-compliance message that happens when someone tries to do something that Azure Policy is stopping them do. Now we've probably all been in the situation where we've deployed an Azure policy and it stops people from deploying to a certain Azure region or deploying a certain resource type and then they come unstuck. The deployment stops and fails and it doesn't give them any real information as to why. And then they have to start digging into log files, they have to look at documentation, they might have to speak to someone to understand this non-compliance and this failed deployment. And that's not a great use of anybody's time. What you can now do is within Azure Policy, when you're setting one up, you can put in a custom non-compliance message. So you can specify what, what error result or error message that people get when they hit an Azure deploy, uh, policy. And this is a great feature that you can set up. Now you can set it up within the Azure Portal GUI interface, or you can do it through templates within the JSON for your Azure policy. The error message will display if you do a deployment through CLI or PowerShell or API. Now let's dive into the Azure Portal and I'll show you how you can actually set this up and actually what it looks like in the end. So let's dive into the demo. So here we are in the Azure portal and we're in the Azure policy blade. What we want to do is set up an Azure policy that um, stops something happening. So in this example, what I'm actually going to do is set up a policy that defines which Azure regions we can deploy resources into. This is a built-in policy, so you can pick this one yourself and set it up quite easily. I'm going to say that only the allowed locations that I can deploy services to are the UK regions, so UK South and UK West. Now I'm going to skip the radiation section and go straight into this non-compliance messages section. And I'm going to put in a message that says company policy specifies we can only deploy to UK data centres. So it's quite clear to whoever tries to deploy a resource to a location outside of the UK, they know exactly what the criteria is that they need to follow. Now it can take up to 30 minutes for Azure policies to take place. So I'm going to fast forward here and go to a stage where the policy is now effective within my subscription. So we're now at a time when the policy is effective in the subscription. What I've done here is launch the cloud shell and I've launched the bash shell within that. Um, and I'm going to start to deploy a resource group and a resource um, to my subscription. So the first stage is to create the Azure resource group and I'm picking the UK West region for this. Now that I've got my resource group, I'm going to start to create a storage account. And as you can see here, I've actually typed in West US as the deployment region, and this should not comply with policy. And true to form, I've got a big red error message. If I scroll back up my screen, I can actually see that it's been disallowed by policy, and I can see that compliance message that I typed in. So I now know exactly why my resource has not deployed. I can see it straightforward. I don't have to start digging into the log files or asking people or digging into log documentation. I can now start to change my deployment. So I change it to the UK West and the deployment starts because it's within policy and I can deploy a storage account to that UK region without any issues. So my storage account has been successfully deployed and we can go into the GUI version of this just to confirm that the resource group is there and also that the storage account is there and they both reside in the UK West. So Azure Policy has done exactly what it's designed to do and also this compliance or non-compliance message has now done exactly what it should do and tell me what I'm doing wrong so that I can remediate it myself. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you like this content, please do hit that thumbs up button and also consider subscribing to my channel. Until the next video. Bye.